most people would probably agree it's important for America's public schools to pay attention to each of the following purposes of education. Preparing students for success in the job market, widening students' horizons, and helping them develop a love of learning, educating students to be responsible citizens. While most schools probably pay some attention to each of these purposes, it's also the case that schools can't be expected to do everything equally well. Effective schools must set priorities in how they allocate resources, what they look for when hiring teachers, and how they construct curriculum. To help you and your neighbors sort out what's most important to you about the purpose of education, we've created a scenario that describes three different school boards. Which school board would you prefer in your own community, and why? School Board A has decided that the district's greatest priority is to prepare each student to be successful in the job market. Toward this end, the district emphasizes the academic basics, computer literacy, applying coursework to real-world situations, and good work habits. Rigorous technical training is offered to those students who are not likely to go on to college. Job fairs, job internships, and career counseling are a significant part of the curriculum for all students. Those who like this approach often say, young people need to be prepared to make it in the real world when they're in school or they will be lost when they get out. We need to spend a lot more time, I think, helping people understand and figure out what that world of work is that they're going to spend the next 50 years of their life in. When you read literature and people are working in those books, we should spend some time looking at what that workplace was when Dickens was writing about, about England. One of the things that I think the school should be doing is consulting with the business community uh, to talk about this whole school-to-work transition. We have a real selfish motive here. I don't know where I'm going to get my workforce from if I can't depend on the school system to provide those people who will be the workforce 10 years from now, 20 years from now. Instead of following a more traditional curriculum, the high-tech magnet program at Shenley focuses on preparing their students to be the scientists, engineers, and inventors of the future. It does this by training them extensively in the use of computers, teaching technical writing in English classes and spending a lot of time on physics and electronics. School Board B has decided that the district's greatest priority is providing students with rich and challenging educational experiences and a broad base of knowledge in order to expand their horizons and help them develop a love of learning. Toward this end, the district emphasizes following the academic basics with in-depth coursework in literature, science, math, history, and the arts Students are also helped to find and pursue those areas of learning in which they have special interests and gifts. A high value is placed on creativity, independent thinking, and effectively expressing ideas. Those who like this approach often say, if schools don't emphasize a challenging academic curriculum and rich cultural experiences, most students will never have a chance to experience them, and their lives will be limited as a result. I don't believe that the purpose of education is to train someone for the workforce and solely to train someone for the workforce because what that says to me is that all life is about is your career. Education spans much further than your career or what you're going to do once you get out of school. Just about everybody sooner or later gets some kind of post-secondary education. They get it because they need it for um, changing jobs and for uh, uh, changing uh, life patterns. Uh, it is not the job of the elementary and secondary school to turn a kid into a carpenter or a lawyer uh, or a veterinarian or a, nurse's, a nurse practitioner. But I think there's just sort of enduring things in, in education, you know, history, um, mathematics, um, certainly the use of the, of the language. Frankly, you know, the traditional liberal arts curriculum. School Board C has decided that the district's greatest priority is teaching students to be responsible and capable citizens with the knowledge, values, and skills to contribute to the life of their community and their country. In addition to teaching the academic basics, the district places special emphasis on coursework that helps students appreciate both cultural differences and the common history and values that all Americans share. 
Also, civics classes stress the importance of voting and citizenship. Finally, the district encourages all students to do some form of voluntary community service during their school careers. Those who like this approach often say, the public schools are the place where all different kinds of kids can learn to get along, establish the habits of responsible citizenship, and learn to appreciate both their differences and their commonalities. What we've lost sight of in our public education is the need to develop and nurture citizenship. It's to accept wholeheartedly American history and the values that have got us here and to shrewdly critique them as well. And it's really tough for children to get their grounding when we're afraid to say, this is where we came from and this is what we believe in. I believe that honesty needs to be taught from day one. Integrity needs to be taught from day one. Respecting others needs to be taught from day one. Um, and I don't believe that it's the sole responsibility of the church or necessarily the family. Every child goes to school. It is impossible, for example, to seriously examine the U.S. Constitution, the Magna Carta, the Bill of Rights, uh, Martin Luther King's letter from Birmingham Jail, without getting embarked on a deep moral uh, enterprise. School Board A believes schools should provide students with the skills, experiences, and knowledge that employers are looking for. Young people need to be prepared to make it in the real world when they're in school or they'll be lost when they get out. School Board B believes schools should offer all students a high quality, challenging academic curriculum. School is the place where all students can be exposed to rich cultural experiences and discover their own special gifts and interests. School Board C believes schools should emphasize social responsibility, citizenship, and appreciation of both cultural differences and the commonalities that we all share as Americans.